How well do you know your lifetime? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. We want to invite you to drink like us by getting this Good Mythical mug available at mythical.store. Yes, but today is International Women's Day. Woo! And, <laughs> and yes, as you can tell from the title, we're gonna be celebrating that by playing a game about real or fake Lifetime movies. But before anybody takes issue with that, let me break it down. Lifetime, the channel, not only focuses on women's stories, but they put their money where their mouth is by hiring women too. In fact, from 1994 to 2016, an incredible 73% of their original films were either directed or written by women. And get this, when I, yeah, let's clap for that. We have a Lifetime executive over <laughs> yes, here. Yes, we do. <laughs> And here's the thing. Not a sponsor. When I call my mom, she is watching a Lifetime movie 73% of the time. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but I don't think that applies to you, Link, so I don't know how good you're nope. gonna do at this game. Nope. But we're calling it International Women's Day as a wife's time, so we're guessing if these movies are from Lifetime. Title written by Ellie. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do, Link. I am going to uh, be telling you about a movie. And uh, it's either a real Lifetime movie, okay. or we made it up. If you okay. think it is real, you're gonna say Lifetime, and if you think it is fake, you're gonna say Lie Crime. <laughs> All right, Lie Crime. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit of a stretch, but mm -hmm. I kinda like it, it rhymes with Lifetime. Here's the first I'm one. spank you for lying. Please don't spank me. That's a, that's I enough. shouldn't use this word. That's this, another Lifetime movie. I shouldn't use this accent. Lifetime After Dark. <laughs> Due to a car accident that disfigured her face, Allison Bevins is considered ugly, sad. And after that, her degenerate gambler husband murders her father, frames her for the crime, and in prison, she gets a shiv to the face, which further disfigures her. Really sad. But in a twist of fate, this qualifies her for an advanced facial reconstruction surgery. Suddenly hot again, Allison plots revenge by posing as a big money investor to ruin her ex-husband's life. Is revenge a dish best served with a facelift? Find out in A Face to Kill For. I thought it was gonna be called Suddenly Hot Again. Uh, uh, missed opportunity there. <laughs> this just sounds way too gruesome. <laughs> to be lifetime fair, man. I mean, she's getting shivved in the face. Twice. Yeah, after, no, this, this is a lie crime, man. This is just, this is you being wicked. <sighs> okay, Link, you're wrong. Mm. This is real. Let's see the clip. What? You mark my words. I will be the toughest businesswoman you ever saw. Alison Bevins. I'm a great admirer of yours. Have we met? <laughs> oh, I could have been played that role. Have, have we, we met? met? <laughs> oh, so convincing. Because you're so hot in your face. Yeah, but you look nothing like you did. Um. Wow, and that's an old one. Lifetime yeah, yeah, movies yeah. go way back, and they were more gruesome than I think they yeah, are now. The whole story of that movie reminds me of one of my favorite songs. If you're ugly and you know it, stab your face. <laughs> Cheating just got easier with the help of AshlynMadeline.com, a dating website devoted to people seeking extramarital affairs, which is totally fictional, and any resemblance to cheating websites, living or dead, is purely coincidental. Uh-huh. But fiction is stranger than truth when five cheating husbands who use Ashlyn Madeline in one small town all wind up dead. Who's been catfishing cheating husbands on the site in order to kill them? Find out it's absolutely the chief of police's disgruntled psychotic wife in the Ashlyn Madeline murders. Spoiler alert, man. I was gonna watch that one. Uh -huh. If it were real. Oh. But it might not be. Mm. Ashlyn Maddie, 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 what's it? Ashlyn Madeline. I could see that they would, they would, they would do this, but it seems a little unoriginal. I don't know. I think maybe they're riding the coattails. I think that this also is true because uh, I just feel it. Link, yeah, you shouldn't trust your feelings because you're wrong. You made this one up. This is a lie crime. But if it were real, this would be the movie poster. <laughs> okay, that's me. How do you feel? How do you feel feel to be a big-headed cop? <clears throat> My head is a little bigger than. Yeah. 
I like that though. Big headed cop looks good on you, man. <laughs> All right, Link, you're 0 for 2. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Isabel Darden has a great job, great hair, and feels generally fulfilled, but she's not married, so she can't be, according to her best friend, her mom, and a large percent, her best friend, comma, her mom, okay. and a large percentage of society. After a disastrous blind date, Isabel announces that she's going to marry herself, so of course she meets and immediately falls in love with a man in the next scene. Unfortunately, the news of a woman marrying herself has gone viral. How will her new guy react to being cucked by his own girlfriend with herself? Find out in I, Me, Wed. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. I'm gonna have to do some Googling after this. Uh, that is, this is just stupid. Marrying yourself? Mm. Do they get that stupid? No way, there's no way, this is a lie crime. Wow, you really don't watch a lot of Lifetime, do you, Link? <laughs> Seriously? It's real, roll it. What? I don't like Jim. Uh, hey, you guys, I don't like Jim. I love myself, I honor myself, and I cherish myself. Well, then why don't you just marry yourself? Watch me, but don't expect to press me. <laughs> Having a small, intimate ceremony, maybe at the park or... <laughs> you were right. I need to tell Colin right now before this thing airs. It is getting way too huge. Mm, Colin, there's something that I need to... Everyone's waiting. Are you ready? So uh, I'm gonna leave right now and go watch that. Uh, nope, there's more There's more game to play. Okay, okay. Uh, now you have already lost <laughs> because you've gotten all three uh, wrong in a row. This is just for pride. You're gonna have to read a monologue from the classic Lifetime cult hit, Mother May I Sleep With Danger on our Instagram. That's already happening. Uh, I haven't already done that? Now you're just, <laughs> now you're just playing for pride. Okay. okay. Leamington, Utah is just your average God-fearing small town that has lived in harmony with this local polygamy compound for over 20 years. But all of that changes when the compound's charming leader, Porter Hayes, is found brutally stabbed to death in the bed of a married townswoman by one of his three wives. Discover the events that led to a sister-wife snapping and stabbing her husband 46 times in the back with garden shears in uh. the chilling true story brought to life in Sister-Wife Stabbing, the Editha Hayes story. Th this is the most solid premise I've heard yeah. all morning. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Which makes me think that this is definitely a Lifetime movie. But I'm so bad at this, I'm gonna say that you made it up. Like, that worked. <laughs> yes! You made that we up. You did make it up. And if it was real, this would be the movie poster. There uh, you are there with I am. two of your wives and some garden shears in your heart. The women all over the place. How does that feel? I don't know. Never been Mormon. <laughs> all right, Link. Again, just for pride. Jillian, a British nanny, is thrilled when she lands a job caring for families for a family's three children. But mm -hmm. what she doesn't know is that one of the children is a completely imaginary figment of their mother's severe delusional disorder, which the entire family has been enabling for five years. Her husband stresses that nothing dramatic happened. He just woke up one morning to find his wife holding an invisible baby and warming bottles. Find out why Child Protective Services wasn't called in Invisible Child. Seriously? <laughs> Invisible Child? Boy, it sounds like a lie. That just sounds so stupid. But your lies are consistently better than what Lifetime actually makes. Mm. Therefore, I'm saying this is a Lifetime movie. Blink, whatever you're doing is working. <laughs> Too late! Here we go, roll it. Okay, come on Maggie, no hitting. Stop it, Sam. She punched first. Sometimes you gotta separate these two. You, you mind pushing Maggie a while? Um, no. Thanks. Come on, Sam. That is so bizarre. Yeah, man. I mean, it's the music. I mean, it could easily be a comedy if they just change that <laughs> oh, piano music. I think it out. is a comedy. Yeah, oh for me gosh. personally. Uh, you know, I have an invisible kid that I use for the carpool lane. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, Link, uh, what you're wor doing is working, but uh, it might be too late. But you know what, if you get this last one right, three in a row, I'm gonna do the, the monologue as a punishment, okay? Okay, okay. Justin Peterson is a popular 16-year-old star on the high school swim team, but he has a secret, and that secret is a debilitating addiction to internet porn. Never mind that the only things we see him looking at are girls in bikini tops, just trust us. <laughs> He's into some really weird stuff. He ignores his nice girlfriend, explores BDSM, and almost misses the big championship swim meet while tending to other swimmers, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Find out if Justin can stop with the five knuckle shuffle. In cyber seduction, his secret life. Uh, yeah. This is, hmm, this is tough, this is tough. Um, I think you had way too much fun reading that question. Hmm. Took a lot of, took a lot of pride in those puns. Um, so it really seems like you made this one up, which means that it should be a Lifetime movie, but I just can't say that. You made this one up. Wrong. Oh! It's real! It's Take real! A look. Like how he was part of his family, but it was like he was a different species from them. Everyone said I was kind of really boring. I don't know. Hello, am I boring you? No. Sorry. Um, just sending myself an email so I don't forget. Forget what? How beautiful you are. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can use that one for free, <laughs> courtesy of Lifetime. You know, it's ironic that he's using a Palm Pilot because he kind of is a Palm Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Link, um, so you're gonna have to read that monologue on our Instagram. As if your lives weren't punishment enough. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Troy Young. And I'm Cassandra Young. And, and we, we just, just got, got married. And it's, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Congratulations! Look at that, shallow depth of field. Yeah. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us guess which famous actors were in Lifetime original movies and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel is gonna land. Ready, on your mark? Get the set of all new Mythical Mugs, available now at mythical.store.